exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to a throwback Thursday edition of Madden 17 here with the New England Patriots. If you guys missed last week's episode, we finished the offseason. We did the whole entire offseason and we are ready to go for the entirety of, well not the entirety, but most of season number two here in Madden 17. This is now the 2017 season. So I hope you guys are excited. If you guys did miss that last episode last Thursday, make sure you go back and watch it because we did a whole lot of stuff, including trading Tom Brady and getting back young Carson Wentz. Yeah. Yeah, Carson Wentz is now the quarterback of the New England Patriots. And I do want to make sure... Do we have number seven available for him to wear? We do. He's going to wear number seven. And uh, he could wear number two, I guess. I don't think anybody's going to wear number two. Carson Wentz will be the starting quarterback for our New England Patriots. We have Derrick Henry here as well. We got him in the last episode. Devontae Adams still here. Beckham Jr. still here. Edelman still here. Chris Hogan still here. We don't have a lot of wide receiver depth but we have good wide receivers. Our offensive line's looking really, really good. We just need Mar uh, Mark Andrews. We just need David Andrews to develop a little bit more. Joe Tooney's still trying to develop, but we have Joe Thomas, Lyle Collins, Shaq Mason, and Marcus Cannon. We got Gronkowski in that draft pick that we took in the first round who has like super speed for some reason. He's got 89 speed for a tight end and 91 acceleration. This dude is a speedy boy. And then if we go to the defensive side of things, that's a little bit more tricky as ter in terms of depth. We have Trey Flowers, Aaron Donald, Vincent Valentine, and Khalil Mack on the D-line. We have Malcolm Butler, Darrell Rivas, Logan Ryan, and Cyrus Jones as the corners. Rashad Jones is our safety. McCord is the other safety. Justin Simmons is there as well. And then our linebackers are Shazier, Keekly, Hightower, Laurinaitis, and Ninkovich. Those are the really only the good linebackers that we have. We have a couple backups, but they're not super good. We need some depth. And we also need some money. Because I'm pretty sure if we go over here to the Trade Center, we have $810,000 as a cap. But if we go to our salary, I think that should match up. Yeah, so we have $810,000 in cap space. We have $29.6 million in cap penalties. The most expensive person this season is Darrell Rivas. He's under contract for three more years, but I don't think he's going to be around for three more years. I think Darrell Rivas might retire pretty soon. If not, we will get rid of him. Now, I know Darrell Rivas is one of my favorite players of all time, but he is 32. He's 79 overall, and he's got a fat bag. <laughs> he's got a fat contract that just keeps getting more and more expensive. So what we're going to do is, if he does not retire at the end of this season, we will get rid of him in the offseason. I'll trade him or just release him. I don't know if I can release because his, his penalty might be... Oh, his penalty is, is zero after this season, so we will release him. If that doesn't change, we will release him, and he can and he can just go either get signed by somebody else or just sit in for agency. I don't know. I don't know what he would do. That that kind of hurts me to say that, but we have to if we want to save some money. So that'll free up a ton of money for us. Other players that I would look to move on from would obviously be Rashad Jones. He would be 30 after this season. I don't think we're going to re-sign him, especially because it's going to cost us a lot. If we go to free agency and he's there and he doesn't have any offers and we can get him kind of cheaper than what we have him now, then I'll do that. But as of right now, I'm not interested in re-signing him because he's going to cost a whole lot. 
other than that, we have Keekly locked up for a long time. We have Marcus Cannon locked up for a long time. We have Logan Ryan locked up for a long time. McCordy's locked up. Joe Thomas has got another year after this one. Malcolm Butler is locked up, and he just keeps getting more and more expensive, which kind of scares me, but it's okay. Other than that, we got Edelman, who needs a, a new contract, and uh, I love, love Julian Edelman, but we're going to have to figure out a way to save some money on him because I can't be spending five, six, seven million dollars a year on a 30 plus year old wide receiver when we have younger guys that are not as good, but good. Chris Hogan will look to move on from probably after this season so we can save his money. James Devlin we have locked up, which makes me happy. McAfee we've got locked up for another couple of years. Laurinaitis is locked up, but he may retire pretty soon. Khalil Mack is going to need a contract, and he's going to be expensive, so I'm kind of scared about that because he's done with his rookie deal now, so he's going to be expensive. Ninkovic has got this final year left. We might look to move on from him, or I, I hope he retires. Maybe we'll re-sign him for a cheap deal, and he'll retire. I hope that's the case because I don't really want to see him play for another team, but I don't know. I hope he retires. McKenzie, we obviously have locked up because we just drafted him. Carson Wentz still on his rookie deal, so we got him. Darren Waller, I did pick up off camera because I needed another player, and I went to free agency, and I was like, oh, Darren Waller's there. So he's here. We have him on a one-year deal. We'll re-sign him for next season. Maybe even, I was going to say, maybe even move him back to wide receiver, but I like him at tight end. Uh, Donald is on his done with his rookie deal. He's going to be expensive. Shazier's done with his rookie deal. He's going to be expensive. These guys are going to be, we're good. We are into these guys right here. We are into spending a lot of money, which is why it's good that we have a rookie or a young quarterback to be our starter. So we don't have to worry about that right now. We have three more years of him. Plus we can tag him a couple of times too. If he develops the way that I wanted to, but we're going to probably have to tag one of these three guys. And it might be Aaron Donald because I think he's going to want the most money. Then we have Dar um, uh, Darren Lewis. We have... Uh, the heck's this guy's name? <laughs> what? Oh, I forgot what the guy's name was. What is it? It's... Why am I blanking on his name? Dion. God, I'm such an idiot. Dion Lewis. I don't know why I blinked on his name. He's here. I don't know what we're going to do with him. Probably move on from him but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Johnson, we're just he'll just let go. We'll just let him go. Garoppolo is done with his rookie deal after this season, and I kind of want to bring him back, but he still also might have some value to get traded. Slater will bring back. Cyrus Jones is locked up for a little bit. Hamilton is whatever. Nate Ebner's done after this season, but we might bring him back just because he's Nate Ebner. Uh, Devontae Adams is going to need a new contract. And he's probably going to be a little bit expensive too. Derrick Henry got lucky. He's got three more years of his, or two years after this. So he's locked up. Tooney's locked up. Valentine's locked up. James White is going to need a contract. We got a lot of guys that are going to need contracts, everybody. And it's going to get pretty expensive. So I hope you guys are ready for the offseason video because it's going to get pretty expensive. That's why we have to win a Super Bowl this season. And look who we're playing to start the year the team that absolutely embarrassed us absolutely embarrassed us in the postseason in the divisional round we got embarrassed in pittsburgh and now we get our revenge heinz field one o'clock patriots steelers a rematch of the divisional round last season if you guys are excited smash that like button subscribe to the channel join the juice club it's completely free to subscribe, except for your eternal soul is mine. But that's not really that big of a price to pay, is it? Nobody wants their eternal soul. Patriots, Steelers, let's get into it. It's going to be play the moments. I'm excited. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Madden 17 on EA Sports. It's a fresh start throughout the league here in week one as these two teams have high hopes for the season ahead. It's the Patriots going up against the Steelers. With that, let's call in our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis with this opening week matchup. Right at the 
convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive. We welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today it's the opener of the 2017 NFL season between the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. An early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet, and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. On the other side of the field for the... Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to simulate this game against the Steelers and see what happens. I also forgot to change the number of Derrick Henry, so that's kind of annoying. So he's going to be 35, I think, instead of 22. So we'll all, hopefully I'll remember that and we'll get that changed for uh, the next time we jump into a game. But we are already down 7 nothing here. We've got our young quarterback, Carson Wentz, on the field for the first time. It's also the debut of a certain head coach named uh, Marvin Lewis. He's the debut, not as a, as a coach, but as our head coach. There he is right there. We're getting called for a holding penalty on Joe Thomas to start things off. That is not what you want on a third down, especially when we got the third down on the play. Okay. It's all right. It seems like in simulation we're very heavily running the football, and I'm not mad at that. I'm also mad that our offensive line's not blocking very well. <laughs> so hopefully we kick that field goal. We didn't. Did we, what, did we, what happened there? Did we miss the field goal or something? I don't know, but we got a pick of Ben Roethlisberger, so that's good. Let's see what we can do here. Can we actually block? Thank you. Devontae Adams right there. Big time catch at the seven. Give me some Derrick freaking Henry. Give me Derrick Henry. Let me pound it in. Derrick Henry to the end zone. Well, to the three-yard line. Derrick Henry to the three. They don't have the personnel in here. We're going to get it again. We're going to let Henry go in. That's a touchdown. Oh, he's at the one. Are you really serious right now? Derrick Henry at the one. Second down and goal. I don't think they can stop Henry, especially if we're running behind James Devlin. So there it is. Get in there, Henry. Fight. Come on. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Be like that, I guess. We go to the air, and we look for Devontae Adams on the underneath route, and he's going to be there, and it's going to be a catch and a touchdown. There it is. We're back in this game. Good job, Devontae. Make the extra point. Let's see if our defense can hold up for a little. I'll jump in on defense in a little bit. Oh, we missed the field goal. But they do get the ball back and score, so fun, <laughs> I guess. Edelman's running a nice route. Beckham's running a nice route. If I just have time to think, I'll go there to Dion Lewis. And Lewis has got the speed. Dion Lewis turns that into something awesome. I didn't expect that to be much, but Dion Lewis took that and ran with it, literally. Uh, why is my offensive line not blocking? <laughs> I have like no time to think. There's always a stealer in the backfield before I can even look down the field. Carson Wentz, and he's not like super, he's athletic, but he's not like super quick. Get that away, Odell. Nice catch, Odell. And he gets up the field. Did he step out of bounds? Nope, he didn't. So we're going to call a timeout there. Okay, we can work with this. We got 36 seconds. We got one timeout, third and four. Edelman's probably going to be open on this. Somebody's going to be open. Uh, I like Gronkowski here. And just step out of bounds. Just step out of bounds. I probably could have got like two extra yards on that, but I didn't want to risk anything. 29 seconds. I'm going to send Gronkowski on a slant. I've got Edelman underneath if I need him. And it looks like I'm going to need him. Jeez. I need to have some time offense. Jeez. Come on, guys. This offensive line's not bad like that. Why are we getting beat all the time? I don't know what's happening. 
Guys are in the backfield so quick. Oh, Edelman, why'd you back out of bounds? You idiots, what are you doing? Why would you back out of bounds on that? Doesn't make any sense. I want to send Adams on an in. This could be a floater to Gronkowski, or it could be an Adams catch. Is he going to roll in? All right, we're going to call that last time out. It's fourth and one. They're going to ask for the field goal. I don't want the field goal. I want first down and points. I want first down and points. This is the Steelers we're talking about. This is the Steelers we're talking about. We cannot let them have the lead over us like that. That's Adams. He dropped it. He got hit so hard that he dropped it. I don't, I'm not mad at the decision. I don't, I don't hate the decision. We had to go for it. If we want to stay competitive in this game, we had to. So I understand the field goal keeps us competitive too, but we got to be aggressive. Henry, oh, he's got the space. Derrick Henry, touchdown. His first one is a Patriot. Derrick Henry. Boom. Big time play. Let's get on defense here. We, we've shown a lot of offense. Let's show some defense here against Big Ben. We got Aaron Donald. We got Trey Flowers. We got it. Khalil Mack. They're in the red zone at the six. Come on, boys. Come on. Get there. Get there. Get there. It's Le'Veon Bell. He falls to the one. He probably was in, to be fair. I mean, I'm not mad at it. Happy that you didn't get in, but he probably was in. They're probably going to run this again, which is why I'll stack the box here. And it's going to be a pitch to the outside. Le'Veon Bell, easy money. He had nothing to worry about there. That was a very easy one. 21 to 21 we've tied it up in the fourth quarter it's third and two our tight end our rookie tight end has long blonde hair which i didn't expect <laughs> uh oh come on give me some gosh dang time what are we talking about here this is back and forth absolutely back and forth Second down and long. I'm going to send Edelman on a slant. And I'm going to hit Gronkowski. Let him fight for an extra couple yards. Okay. Seven catches, 113 yards, and a touchdown for Gronk. It's third and five. I probably take the field goal since our defense seems to be playing pretty well. But Edelman got the first down, so it doesn't matter. We have life. We have new life with Edelman's catch right there. We're going to let this go to the two-minute warning. And now, if we can run this ball with Derrick Henry, run some clock, and score, we could walk out of Pittsburgh with a W in week number one. There's Derrick Henry. Big time run. He's got 102 yards in his debut here in New England. Well, here for New England, not in New England. Our offensive line, I've been a little bit concerned about. As Derrick Henry tries to fight, he's at the one. It is a third and inches for the Patriots. Give it to me. Give it to me. The Steelers are all jam-packed in the middle. Gronk in the end zone. Oh. Oh. What do we do? Do we kick the field goal and take the points at the 17-yard line, or do we go for this? We got to be aggressive, right? We got to be aggressive. Let me see what they're coming out in. I can call a timeout if I need to. We got to be aggressive. I'm hiking this. Beckham, no! Carson took a big hit. We were at the one. I just needed a second. That's all I needed. All I needed was a second. It's all I needed and I could throw it to Odell. 
are going to punt this ball back to us. There's under a minute to go. Luckily, our defense has played really well in the second half. All we got to do is get in the field goal range, and we're golden. We're golden, Pony Boy. This has been an ugly game. Our offensive line has not played well at all. At all. Okay, I'm going Odell, obviously, here on these quick slants. There it is. That's the Odell catch. We're going to run it again, if I can. No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get into field goal range, but just stop me. <laughs> I'm not sure how many yards we need. That's a quick throw. Carson got it away quick. Keep it going. Keep it going. They're going to play this tighter. So now I'm going to go in route on Devontae Adams. Oh, they didn't play it tighter. Oh, he got it knocked away. I probably should have thrown that a second earlier. If I throw that a second earlier, that's probably a, a catch. I haven't really been impressed that much with Carson Wentz. He's played okay. That's a big time run with Derrick Henry. We've got two timeouts, 18 seconds. I need to pay attention to this clock. We're gonna try and run this with James White one final time just to get a couple extra yards. Okay, that's gonna be enough. We'll call a timeout and we'll kick a field goal, win this game. There it is. All right, two seconds left. We have a chance to win this game in Pittsburgh. A 48 yarder. There is wind. They're going to ice me. They are going to ice me. Mike Tomlin is going to ice me. I got this. I got this. There it is. There's the kick. It's missed. You've got to be joking. You've got to be joking. We won the toss. We won the toss so we can go down and score. I cannot believe I missed that on the ice. <laughs> this is the dumbest game I've ever played. Our offense line has sucked in this game. We need a score. It's down to me. This, this Steelers team is getting on my nerves. Derrick Henry. What a big run for Henry. He has been dominating this game. I've been so impressed with how Henry's been running. I'm happy that we were able to trade for him. And look at that again. I got I got to get used to having to press those buttons. I'm not used to having to worry about that. Second down and five. If we just run the ball down the field, I'd be happy about that. But Henry, you got to break that tackle. That's just basic facts right there. You got to break that tackle. You're a big boy. You, can, you cannot be getting brought down one-on-one -on -one like that. Give me that one. Odell got the first down. Big time catch, Odell. Big time catch. I'm not really sure how strong Derek, um, Carson Wentz's arm is. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Oh, we had a tie. The Lions and, and Bucks tied that game. Come on, offense. Block for me. Not just in the passing game. In the run game as well. I need a block. We need to score a touchdown here to end this game. Field goal gives them an opportunity. I'm floating it. Henry, make a catch. Oh, my God. You did not just catch that, Sean Davis. You did not just catch that. What are we talking about here? He just caught a one-hander. He just caught a one-hander. Our defense has held again. This is the craziest game I've ever played in my life. Devontae, you gotta be joking! You gotta be kidding! How many deflections did that take? I don't even care, man. I don't take the W. I don't even care. What was that? That was the dumbest game I've ever played in my life. So we didn't get the revenge that we wanted in Pittsburgh, but. 
That was that, that was the dumbest game ever. I couldn't score. Our offensive line sucked. I don't know what was going on. There was bad interceptions. Like it just it just wasn't it wasn't cool. We should have won that game 16 different times, but I lost it. Yes, you could probably put the blame on me, but I'm not going to because that's just what I do. So that wasn't on me why we lost, and you guys can't tell me anything. Nana nana boo boo, you can't tell me I lost that game. So we will keep advancing here. We got to play the 0-1 New York Jets. Hopefully we get back on track here and get back into winning ways, or get into winning ways, I guess, for the first time this season. And we lose to the Jets. Awesome. I've got to change Derrick Henry's number before I forget. Okay. Starting the season 0-2. That is what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted to have happen. And now we have contracts. Now we have contracts. Let's take a look. We already took a look before we started that game, but look at the yeah, look at this expensiveness. Donald's gonna want 110 million. Mac is gonna want around 100 million. Beckham's gonna want cheap deal. I, I say cheap deal, but <laughs> for for comparing it to these guys, he's gonna want a cheap deal. Rashad Jones, we're not gonna bring back. I told you guys that. Edelman is expensive. Shazier's expensive. Ha <laughs> ha! This is the problem. This is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. When you bring in all these expensive players and all these high-powered players, you gotta pay them, especially when they're on rookie deals. So let's scout some draft talents. Now remember, this isn't necessarily about the NFL draft, this series. This is about playing with players that we don't usually get to play with. That's why I got like Carson Wentz and, and Aaron Donald, because in, in new Maddens, you can't hardly trade for Khalil Mack or Aaron Donald. It's almost impossible. So that's why I did it here. Oh, I forgot to tell you, in the preseason or in the, the offseason, whatever I did it, I traded for some more draft picks. I used the old, the, the classic Madden cheese and I traded for some more players or some more draft picks. So I have three first round picks. Those running backs in free agency were able to get me first round picks. And I was crazy. It was crazy about that. So I was able to get three first round picks. I have three seconds. I have two thirds. I have a lot of fourths, three fourths, and then two sevens. So we have some assets to trade if we need to trade later on, either in the middle of this season or in the off season, whatever it is, we have some assets to trade. We got to play the Buffalo Bills, who are 2-0. I'm scared. What's going to happen? I don't know. Probably another loss. Maybe we'll go on, uh, winless and we'll get the number one draft pick and we can trade that. We did beat the Bills, which is weird. Carson Wentz threw five touchdowns to beat the Bills. Cool. <laughs> good job, Carson. You did a good thing. Maybe it wasn't so bad that we traded Tom Brady for you, even though he's not in the league anymore because he retired. I can't believe, I still can't believe we finessed the Eagles like that. We gave him Tom Brady. He was there for literally a week and then retired. All right, okay. So we got some decent players here in the top of the first round. We're definitely going to be drafted in the top of the first round if things go the way that they look like they're going to go. Playing the San Diego Chargers, not the, the LA Chargers. They haven't moved yet. Playing the Chargers, what's going to happen here? It is a win, two and two. Carson Wentz starting to get the hang of things here. We do have an injury. I'll check that after we do this scouting here. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. Ooh, decent players in this draft class. Not Antoine Turk, that's for sure. Parrish McCown looks decent. Samuel Lemonier, okay. Sastik Barrington? Was that Sastik Barrington? Was that his name? What a weird name. What's the injury? Break the news to me, Doc. Cyrus Jones, broken ankle, 20 weeks. Wow. Okay, so he's on the IR because his season's done. Jeez. Broken ankle, done for the year. And I don't think we have enough money to sign anybody in free agency to replace him. Let me go to corners. Is there a cheap corner here that we could get? Uh, there's not really. I mean, there's some cheap ones down here, but I'm not signing a 59 overall guy to be a corner for us. We're just going to have to do a little bit of patchwork. 
see what happens. We were going up against the 0-4 Denver Broncos in Gillette. Let's get another W here. Start our win streak at 3. We need it. We need a big W here. Big time W. There it is. 3-2 for the Patriots. We are starting to get things rolling. Absolutely rolling. It, oh, it's Sastique Broughton. That's what it is. Not Barrington. It's Broughton. There's some weird names in here. Xavier Tut. <laughs> what kind of names are these? All right. Let's go to the next week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We got our bye week after this. Get everybody healthy. Well, Cyrus Jones is the only one that's injured. And he's certainly not going to get healthy. Did we win that game? Deion Lewis found his way to the end zone two times in the win over the Bucks, 49 to 20. All right. We are on a four game win streak. You love to see it, but we do have two new injuries. Who's injured now? We have Dante Hightower who broke his fibula and Derrick Henry tore his shoulder. He's out for three weeks. That's not good. That's not good. Luckily we have Luke Keekley to back up and James Laurinaitis to back up. I'm not going to put Hightower on the IR because he should be back for the playoffs if we make the playoffs. Man, we are getting hit with some big-time injuries. Derrick Henry's now out. Deion Lewis and James White are going to have to step up. That is for sure. Ooh, some decent guys here at the back end of the first round. Sean King. Calvin Maryland's not good. Heath Reese, not good either. Devon McIver, pretty decent, looks like. Ryan Elias is good. Leroy Kit, uh, Kinchin. Oh, he looks like a solid player. This is the dude from England, I think, or from overseas. I'm pretty sure I saw a, a story where it said he was from overseas or something. All right, let's simulate the bye week. Derrick Henry luckily only misses two games because we had he got lucky with this bye week. So he's only out for two more weeks. I'm not sure when I'll stop. I'll probably stop here in the next couple of, of games so that we can simulate the, finish the rest of the season next week. Let's get down here and keep scouting these late first round picks. Rafael Turbin looks decent. Lee Gabriel is okay. Wesley Daly. Okay. We're getting some decent players here at the end of the first round. Nothing crazy, but... Josh Ogle looks pretty good, too. All right, we got the Atlanta Falcons. 3-3 three and three versus 4-2. and two. What's going to happen? Hit me with your best shot. Let's see what goes on. What is it going to be? It is another W. Five straight wins for the Patriots. We're getting hot. We are getting hot. You love to see it. We're going up against the Buffalo Bills. We got a lot of quarterbacks that we got to scout. Oh, those quarterbacks aren't good, so we'll, we'll stop scouting them. Running backs. The running backs are not good either. Wow. Running backs are kind of hot trash after the first couple. We have a big injury decision to make on Derrick Henry. He comes back next week. I'm going to start the backup because I don't want the risk to get any higher for Derrick Henry. So let's advance to the game against the Jets. That's where we'll stop because Derrick Henry will come back and we can play the game, maybe play the game against the Jets in the next uh, next episode next week. It is another W. Six straight wins, ladies and gentlemen. Six straight wins against the opponents. And we're 6-2. and two. We are in a good, good spot this season i wish we wouldn't have lost those first two games but hey it is what it is i guess let's scout some more wide receivers drico scott looks okay nobody else is good here tight ends we don't necessarily need a tight end left tackle okay okay some decent ones all right we've got huge decisions to make in contract terms Derrick Henry is back, which is good. His tear of his shoulder is healthy now. But we've got some massive decisions to make in terms of contracts. I'm going to 
Withdraw my offer from Rashad Jones, just so I don't forget. I'm going to go over here and uh, let's bring back Matthew Slater just so that we can get that. Oh, we can't. He's week 12. Okay. Whatever. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo wants $42 million for a backup quarterback. That's so much money. David Andrews will bring back. Dion, I'm, I don't know. James White, we might. Oh, there's so much money we have to spend. So much money we have to spend here. We have a 142 available funds. $142 million for Aaron Donald. A six-year contract. That's so much money, ladies and gentlemen. But we got to do it. We got to sign Aaron Donald. He's excited to come back. He's re-signed. What about Khalil Mack? We'll get him on a seven-year deal for $110 million. He's happy to sign and come back. Odell Beckham Jr., we're running low on money. You may have to take a little bit of a pay cut. 52.2. <laughs> He's excited to come back. He's back. We signed three big-time players to massive contracts. Is it a dumb idea? Probably but we did it anyway. Edelman, I want you back. Please come back home. 28.4. Salary needs improvement. Of course it does. Ryan Shazier, what about you? Are you liking where you're at right now? You like New England? I sure hope so. Everything aside from the salary is great. Devontae, we traded for you, my guy. 32 million. I don't have enough cap room not good not good at all we have run out of money after signing those three big names i'm not mad at it but i'm mad at it and that's where we'll leave things in the next episode we spent so much money re-signing those three players odell khalil mack and aaron donald but they're now on long-term deals we may have to part ways on some other guys hard decisions to be made for sure but i'm excited for the next episode we can get back on the field we get back to playing more games maybe against the jets maybe against something else i don't know they're four and four we're six and two we're riding hot right now we are leading the division because we've beaten the bills twice we haven't played the dolphins yet and that's where we're gonna leave it thank you guys so much for stopping by i really do appreciate it smash that like button subscribe to the channel join the juice club i'll catch you guys in the next one peace